Okay, well, good good afternoon, everyone. Again, uh, so sorry for the inconveniences uh, to restart uh, the webinar, um, but okay, we we are going to to restart our session. Uh, I am Marta Beltran, also Education USA advisor in Mexico City Advising Center. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Um, and this uh, webinar is regarding the topic choosing your LLM coursework. Uh, we have with us uh, Angela McCracken, who is director at USC Gold School of Law, and we have also Julia Martinez, uh, student services advisor. Uh, if you have any comments or questions uh, at the end of the session, you can type those. And actually you can type, if it is uh, within the chat, you can type as, as the presentation is going on. And at the end, we will be able to read your, your questions and Angela and Julia will be answering uh, all your doubts. Uh, also, if you prefer, you can also unmute your mics and then uh, talk directly with them and ask uh, any question that you can have. Uh, now I will briefly present Education USA for everyone. Uh, th th thank you, Julia, uh, for for going on with the presentation. So Education USA, we are a program uh, uh, that is part of the, the U.S. government. We are part of uh, the Department of ECA. Uh, who, uh, which is the Department of Education and Cultural Affairs. So we are part of the Department of State. Uh, as part of the government, we are a, a great uh, network of advising centers around the world. And um, uh, therefore you, you can uh, find uh, advisors that will uh, be assisting you in this topic. Uh, in Mexico City, we are around 26 advising centers. So if you are not in Mexico City, then you can find the closest to you as well. Uh, well, uh, our goal uh, is to, uh, to give advice and to assist, to help everyone who is interested in studying an undergraduate or graduate program in the United States. And uh, we, we provide comprehensive information and also uh, we have many resources that you can use in order to, uh, to go through this admissions process, the application for admission to a US university. Uh, can we go to the next uh, slide, Julia, please? Thank you. So uh, as, as I was saying, our main activities uh, are in center, uh, are also out, 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 outreach, out the center and virtual, like this webinar. So in center, uh, as well, we are providing some info sessions uh, with uh, this general and specific as well information about the process to apply in the US. Uh, now, due to this contingency, uh, unfortunately, we are not uh, having our spaces uh, open until further notice. So therefore, we are uh, organizing these uh, webinars and everything will be online, online sessions. Um, we will be very happy if you follow our official website. Uh, at the end of the presentation, we can also show uh, our official website and uh, contact uh, through, uh, through email and uh, also checking our um, social media. We are always posting this kind of webinars in collaboration with, um, with people, representatives uh, uh, from universities in the U.S. As well, we as a center, Education USA, we are providing these info sessions for everyone uh, who is interested. Um, Another thing that we do, unfortunately, because of this situation, we are not able at the moment, uh, we, we can go to local schools uh, in collaboration with the representatives here uh, who are um, the advisors or uh, uh, the people that is working within, uh, within these uh, departments uh, where they are explaining and also assisting their students here in Mexico who are interested to go to the US and study a program there. Uh, okay, well, um, if you have as well any question about uh, our services in Education USA, you can type that in the chat and I will be uh, very happy to, to assist you and to also 
um, respond any question regarding Education USA. By the moment, that's uh, everything from uh, the explanation and the brief, um, uh, the brief uh, information about uh, Education USA. And I will, uh, I will leave this uh, to Julia and Angela to give their presentation. Thank you very much for being with us. Welcome, and uh, it's all yours. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marta and Yandi and Education USA for hosting us today. I want to encourage everyone to utilize their services. The free advising is invaluable, especially if you want to study at a US university, a competitive program. Um, their services are so helpful. Um, my name is Angela McCracken. I am the director of the University of Southern California office in Mexico City. We have an office in nine regions of the world and Mexico was the first office in 2005 in Latin America because we want to have a closer relationship between the University of Southern California and Mexico. And I help facilitate that in many different ways. One of the most important ways is recruiting top talented students from Mexico. Um, and um, what was I gonna say? Sorry, my if my dog is barking, I'm I'm working from home today. I hope you all are at home and safe. Today we have a representative from the University of Southern California Gould School of Law, Julia Martinez. She is a student services advisor. So she helps all of the students choose the courses that they're gonna take and the special, how to fit specializations. When you do an LLM, you can do more than one specialization. So um, this is going to be a very interesting look at what an LLM is and how to choose and how to customize it to your needs if that's what you want to do. Um, so I'm just going to give the welcome to Julia. She's going to tell you more about the Gould School of Law. Um, just wanted to briefly say the University of Southern California, for those of you who don't know it, is based in Los Angeles. Um, it's a private university. It's the largest private university in California. And the Gould School of Law is one of 22 schools that we have in different areas. So thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you again to Education USA. And Julia, you can take it away. Thank you so much, Marta and Yandi and Angela for the introductions. I really appreciate it. And welcome to everyone. Thank you for taking time to be with us today. I'm really excited to share information with you about choosing your coursework and also about the law school at USC. So just to get us started, I want to share a little roadmap of where our time is gonna be spent today. Well, I'll start out by talking about choosing a degree in general. Is it better to focus on a specific area of law? Is it better to keep the coursework general? Um, and then I'll talk about choosing coursework after you choose a degree. And then a little bit more about um, USC Gould in particular and the scholarships that we offer. And then as Marta mentioned in the beginning, we will be opening it up for questions. So as you listen to you know, the information we share, please feel free to write your questions down, put them in the chat box and we'd be happy to answer them. I always like to share um, my goals for our time too. So these are the top three things that I'm hoping that you'll be able to walk away with from this webinar. So I really hope that, you know, through our time here together today, you'll be able to identify important things that you need to think about when you're choosing your Master of Laws or your LLM coursework. You'll, I'll also share information that'll help you kind of compare a general LLM to a specialized LLM, and then we'll take a look at at the offerings that we have at USC in particular. So the first topic, choosing your degree. Is it better to keep it general or to specialize? 
Well, it really just depends on you and what your goals are. So if you want to have some flexibility to tailor your degree, the general LLM might be better for you. A general LLM also provides you with the opportunity to get a strong foundation in US law. And then the general LLM will also help you um, tailor your degree. So some people don't realize, but you can still tailor your degree in a general program based on your area of interest. Um, so then when is it good to specialize? It's good to specialize if you want to become an expert in a particular area of law, especially if the schools that you're looking at offer um, degrees in those areas. So I'll give you an example because that was a little bit um, abstract. So I'll share an example from USC because that's the curriculum that I know best. So at USC, we have some general options and then some specialized options. For the general options, we have a one-year program, a two-year program, and an online program. These are all to help students um, with different needs. So students who want to be in the US for one year, students who want a little bit more time to get more of a foundation in US law, as I mentioned, that's one of the benefits of a general program. And then we have an option for students who want more um, flexibility with their schedules. And then as I mentioned, when you're trying to figure out whether to specialize or not, if you want to become an expert in these areas, we offer these degrees. So an LLM in alternative dispute resolution, an LLM in international business and economic law, and then starting next fall, we'll be launching a new LLM in privacy law and cybersecurity. So as I mentioned before, these are all ways that, um, just an example of how you can specialize your degree or keep it general depending on your needs. Now that we've talked about choosing a degree, hopefully you have an idea of whether you want to keep it general or whether you want to become an expert in a particular area. Now it's time to talk about choosing your classes. When you're choosing your classes, it's really important to think about the requirements for your degree, no matter where you're studying. So the first thing that you want to know is what is the, the grade point average or the GPA requirement for that program? What are the number of units that you need to complete during your time in that program? And of those units, which ones are mandatory and which ones do you have options for? So again, I'll give an example from USC. Um, so the minimum GPA at our law school for an LLM program is a 2.6. This is on a 4.4 scale. Uh, many law schools in the US have a 4.0 or 4.4 scale. So that's also something to know. What is the maximum um, GPA that you can earn? And then our general one-year LLM program requires that students complete 21 units during their um, two semesters on the campus. So that's also important to know. How many semesters will you be there? Um, our one-year LLM also has two course requirements. So of the 21 units, students must take Introduction to the US legal system. So again, as I mentioned before, general programs help set that strong foundation in US law. So this is an example. This class is a foundational class um, and it's worth two units. And then legal research is also a foundational class. It sets students up for the rest of their time in the program and that's one unit. So you can see here, knowing that the program is 21 units, and that three of those units are mandatory classes and 18 of those units are elective or optional classes is really helpful for a student who's thinking about going to school at USC um, to know what their program will look like. And then at any school, the courses will vary by semester. So you can work with an academic advisor to learn about the courses that are offered while you're there. So another thing to think about are your elective units. So of the optional courses that you can take, what courses are offered? Do they offer courses in your areas of interest? Will they allow you to focus on particular areas? So remember, 
one of the um, one of the reasons why people might choose a general LLM is because they want to have some flexibility to tailor their degree in different areas. So one way to do that might be to concentrate or to take a certificate, for example, in a particular of area of law, even if the degree is general. Um, you also want to look at what the schools offer in terms of bar topics. So if you're planning to sit for a US bar exam, it's important to know what topics are tested on that bar exam so that you can plan to take coursework that will help prepare you so that you, um, you have less to study on your own. So at USC, some of our most popular electives or optional courses are business organizations, um, entertainment law, one of our most popular certificates or areas of concentration, as I mentioned, um, is business law, followed closely by entertainment law because we are, as Angela mentioned, in Los Angeles, California, where Hollywood is also located. So um, entertainment is really popular at our school. And then um, of our bar topics, we do offer tracks, we call them tracks. Um, it's really just a way to focus the curriculum, again, in this general curriculum, to focus on either um, courses that will be covered in our topics in the California bar, the New York bar, or the DC bar. So these are the three um, bar exams that our students tend to take. So I know I've given examples throughout of USC Gould. Um, but I'll talk a little bit more specifically about our program. So I did mention earlier some of our general programs, um, and then I wanna highlight again some of the specialized programs that we offer. Again, starting next fall for the first time, we will be offering the LLM in privacy law and cybersecurity. And then I mentioned that one of the things that you want to look at when you're considering a law school are the ways you can specialize or the ways that you can tailor your curriculum. So at USC, one of the ways we offer um, students to tailor their general curriculum is to take a certificate. So these are the five different certificates that we, um, we offer to students. Students can choose up to two at a time. And these are offered through the LLM curriculum. So it's not anything additional that you have to apply for, nothing additional that you have to pay for. It's included in the, um, in the options that you have as a student in one of our LLM programs. And um, I did mention that the general degree does require 21 units to be completed in one year or two semesters. And within those 21 units, if a student chooses to focus on um, media and entertainment law, for example, those students could um, make sure that they're getting 20 or excuse me, 12 units from media and entertainment law coursework. In addition to the certificate tracks, another way we help students is prepare for the bar exam. So as I mentioned, um, students in any law school can take courses to prepare for the California, New York, or DC bar exams. Some students in other schools take other bar exams, but these are the three most popular exams for our students. Um, students in the one-year LLM program will have the option to pursue the DC bar exam, but students in other programs at our law school um, will focus on California or New York. And I should mention that California does have an option in the US, no matter what law school you go to, um, to take the exam as, you can take the California bar exam as an attorney or a student applicant. So if you're already licensed to practice law in Mexico, you can take the California bar exam as an attorney applicant, and you don't have to take courses that fulfill the requirements um, that a student might. Uh, we also offer guidance to students on preparing for the bar exams in terms of registering and 
completing their application. So we have a service where we coordinate the coursework, or excuse me, the um, paperwork in the spring semester. And then we also have a faculty member who used to teach for one of the bar prep companies. His name is um, Professor Hellman, and he does these specialized bar prep workshops just for our LLM students. So I'm going to shift gears now and talk about our scholarship offerings. So we do offer a variety of scholarships um, to students who apply to USC Gould. And any applicant who applies is automatically considered for any scholarship um, for which they're qualified. We do have options for up to full tuition coverage. So I want to highlight a couple and then I'm going to invite Angela to talk about the last one a little bit more. So the first uh, scholarship that I want to highlight is called the USC Gold Latin America Scholarship. This scholarship is a full tuition award offered to one or more exceptional applicants from South America um, and Central America. And then the last scholarship that I have listed here is called the Mexico Graduate Scholarship Award. And this is a $10,000 scholarship offered to applicants accepted to the Connect uned Joint Program Loan. So I'll share, um, off, invite Angela to share a little bit more about these scholarships as well. Thank you, Julia. So yeah, um, another part of my work in Mexico is to, um, build relationships with local institutions that make attending a U.S. university more accessible for Mexican students. So we have agreements with CONACYT for the sciences that wouldn't apply here, but we also have an agreement with FUNED for these programs and with FIDER of the Banco de Mexico. They both offer subsidized loans or beca crédito uh, low interest loans that will help you uh, pay for your living expenses or your tuition. And as an agreement, the Gould School of Law gives up to $10,000 jointly. Um, it's important to consider that USC Gould will review your application first. So they will very likely give you an award it, before you apply to FUNED or FIDER that award may apply to the agreement. So it's important to remember to not expect to double up the awards, but that will help you um, receive the award from, con from FUNED or FIDER as well, because they consider the support that you're getting from us in their evaluation of your scholarship application. Thank you. Thank you so much, Angela. Um, I do also want to highlight that we offer housing stipends to our applicants as well. So just like the other scholarships, um, anyone who applies to USC and or USC Gold and um, is interested in housing is automatically considered for housing. And we do have options available on campus and off campus. And these stipends, they're called housing stipends, they're offered in addition to any merit scholarship that we mentioned previously. So these are the merit scholarships, um, which are all applicants are automatically considered for, and they are separate from these housing stipends, um, which can be offered in addition. So hopefully that was clear. But if you have questions, please feel free to, to type them in the chat box. And actually, yeah, now it's time to open it up for questions. So please feel free to submit those and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. <laughs> Thank you, Julia. Okay. Um, we invite everyone to, to, to write uh, uh, in the chat if you have any question and we will be reading those or if you want to unmute your mic as well you can do so 
Okay, we have a question, Julia. Thank you. Uh, here, Mariel Osorio, thank you for your participation. Uh, she asks, is there any, is there an application fee? Do you require standardized test testing and what would be the scores? That's a really great question. So we do have an application fee and I'm actually really glad that you asked this question because um, I do have a code that I can share with anyone who was participating in today's session, including you, um, that will waive the application fee for USC. Um, and I do know that our priority deadline, or excuse me, I think our deadline is actually tomorrow, but um, I can just check in with our admissions team and see if, if um, there's any other information I can share with you as a follow-up after this session. But yes, so short answer, there is an application fee. We may be able to waive it since you attended this session. And then the standardized tests um, we don't require standardized tests, including, um, you know, language scores. So you can choose to waive the TOEFL, for example, or I forget what the other one is called, but um, you can choose to waive that requirement um, in the application and um, just provide a little bit more information when you do. I hope that answered your question. So while we're waiting for the next question, another common question that um, applicants sometimes have is what are, you know, what are the pass rates for the bar exams? Um, so I know that New York bar is generally the most popular among our students because it does have a higher pass rate. To be honest, I can't remember what it is at the moment, but um, you can look it up. It's um, under foreign educated applicants in the New York bar. And the number for USC is usually pretty close to that. Perfect, thank you. Um, we don't have any other question at the moment within the chat. Maybe we can uh, give just a couple of minutes mm -hmm. um, to see if somebody else have any other question. Yeah, and then while we're waiting, I can also share because um, as Angela mentioned before, I do academic and career advising. So I know one of the common questions students usually come to me for is, um, you know, to ask what classes should I take? And I know I shared some strategies today, but whatever school you end up choosing, hopefully it's USC, but um, wherever you end up going um, to law school, you will have an academic and career advisor um, and probably both who will be able to help you um, when you're at that school to pick your courses and to register for your classes. I'm checking the chat and there is no more questions, Julia. Um, I don't know if you have any slide with contact information, the contact. Uh... Oh, yes, we have this one and sure. then I can send you my contact information. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Anyhow, uh, you will receive also uh, uh, the information uh, from the people registered. Uh, and all the attendees, thank you very much. And Julia, if you don't uh, want to, to add anything else uh, to, to the presentation. I think that's everything. Thank you all for being here and thank you for your time. Oh, thank you very much, Julia. Thank you all. So, Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us in, in this presentation. And uh, you will be receiving a video recording uh, in case uh, that you want to, to recheck all the information that Julia and Angela uh, have shared. Uh, and uh, thank you very much uh, for, for being here again.
so we will end this uh, video session and looking forward to to have more webinars uh, with your university and looking forward as well to everyone to attend more of the webinars and the info sessions with us education usa thank you very much thank you thank you bye bye to everyone thank you elise elise elisa thank you